The other side is really, so you think about Einstein's famous equation, E equals MC squared. So energy and mass are interchangeable, let's put it like that. So it also says that if we have loads of energy in these collisions, then we can make new particles that are extremely massive, much more massive. That would come spontaneously out of the available energy that would yeah. otherwise be, be doing nothing. Yeah, so, so we have, uh, when you collide protons together at these energies, you have plenty of energy there to make a Higgs particle, for example, uh, or a top quark, which is a very heavy particle as well, far more massive than the protons. So, so that's, I suppose, the way to think about trying to manufacture Higgs particles so you can observe them. You need enough energy to make them. So you're not just busting them apart. You're creating an opportunity to view more massive particles than would otherwise be available to you. Yeah, and the other thing to say, so to get a complete picture, is these very massive things like Higgs particles, um, they, they have a very short lifetime. 